Hello there, this is one up Indie and I wanted to do a little update on first of all on my game, second of all of the Udemy courses which you guys decided on, even though it a little bit shifted to the more no sphere because well, I guess this is for the beginners, great, but most of, uh, I guess a lot of people which have seen a lot of, of my tutorials say like nah I want the advanced stuff one up indeed not gonna go with a stupid easy course but let's rest the short because I'm not gonna go through uh, this like the, the regular tutorials I wanted to have it a 50 50 split of how you can you can use game maker studio effectively so for the beginners and then on the other side how you can approach making a video game so this is the game design aspect so this is not just basically some coding saying like, hey, what is a for loop? Uh, what are objects? What is this? Then on the other side, it's like, hey, what kind of ideas you need to have in advance and understand how to set them up? So let's go first into the game. So what I did here besides a graphical overhaul, and that's why I'm always delaying the game because I wasn't satisfied with it. Actually, I wanted to be finished, let's say four months ago, but here we go, still uh, while well, polishing the game and I did a few things and the first thing which if you start a game is one of those op opening cutscenes which is defining what the game is about and this is it so keep uh, well seeing this you have the wife and she's kicking you out and she's saying go work and then you have your miracle transformation from the schlop to the office org and this is what the game is all about so you have from the get-go a motivation why you're actually doing all that stuff in here you have some levels and then um, what you're having is the classical heroes story and this is a thing for example if you have seen the new Star Wars movies and you actually like the storylines yeah then you won't be having a lot of fun with this game because here you start from small you have some uh, well, let's say it's uh, some problems, some hindrances, but you overcome them and you become stronger and better in the end. And this is what you don't have in the new Star Wars movies. They start from uh, perfection and they end in perfection, which is, I guess, a thing which is targeted at a new audience, but let's say for the older generation or people who actually like it, the regular hero story, because this is the effective way. Um, well are not liking it so for example let's go into a level here I did some extra additions as well where I put in some creeps because I had from the community they said like hey the game is okay but it's lacking some extra stuff to do and for example if you're just sorting then you are maybe very hyper reactive because you play let's say Leech of Legends or some other uh, very tricky games or Fortnite or God knows what and then of course your reactions are very very fast and then you are used to having lots of inputs and you can react quite fast and therefore I just put in let's say those creep creeping things which uh, give a little heat if they fall down on your uh, thing and for example then you have a second thing to do which is giving the game a little bit more a hectic note at some point but it is giving you uh, more to do and then it appears that the game uh, has more content and it is fuller and, and it, it does in the end and here we go into ah oh, come on this is one of the lamest chests i could actually pick up great so the control scheme is reversed i actually wanted to show you a different chest so let's go this one fruits veggies nah this one is not good as well come on give me a real chest so this is, as you can see, live test. I want it and I failed because I guess the time ran out. So these are the things. And this is a thing which I've, uh, I guess it's quite important to understand that you need to give the player instinctively the motivation uh, to understand what the game is all about very, very quickly. And then they can jump to well into the game and then they understand hey what am i doing and why am i doing so here now we come to the second part this is not about office org this is about the channel the udemy course then as you can see well you voted for it and there were some suggestions from you guys what you wanted to have so the first thing 
which uh, was for example make let's say uh, a football game because I heard like people said like hey don't do it like the other ones the regular RPG or the side scroll because everybody does it do something else and here once again I will put them into a list and of course you can decide to uh, do that or to skip on it and then of course uh, as democracy rules here um, you can decide what you want to have so I will uh, well do the course on the kind of prototype which we are building in the end because this is not a full game you cannot expect me to do a full game and let's say a few videos this is possible games are highly complex and long 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 things on which you are working on and a lot of times in teams even though so the first idea was something let's say like a top-down football game which is sensible soccer 2020 oh there's actually a new one cool so something like this would be in here so a sport game then something like Diablo 2 came up yeah not gonna copy that because that game is highly complex there are lots of lots of lots of things going on here but let's say a top-down RRPG would be then uh, kind of ish uh, Diablo 2 clone then a fun thing which is a beat'em up side scroller this is pretty cool so here you would be having some combo systems and so on um, not too difficult to copy and of course this style is uh, easy to do so that would be another thing i could actually do as the for the for the beginners as a course because that genre is still quite popular and then a survival game which is most of the time a top-down game like i don't know harvest moon or forager and a, a ground yeah a ground that is a game which you basically um, gather most of the time resources and resources and this is kind of the addicting part of it you're just gathering stuff to enhance your character and sometimes your base uh, or your weapons and god knows what and then most of the time you're just gathering resources so basically you're a, a miner a farmer a crafter god knows what and then fighting becomes just a, a secondary thing but here i would do that uh, as a top-down game and then the metroidvania so if you are not sure what metroidvania is this is basically uh oh here we go um a mix between the good old uh, metroid games and then uh, this one was one of the newer castlevania games which was released on what was the first i guess it was on the playstation which combined uh the old castlevania games and the old metroidvania games combined them together into a beautiful blend which is a genre which has a lot of lot of potential and therefore i love it it is just basically exploration then a leveling system then this very famous metroidvania map can i find one metroidvania map of course i cannot if i'm looking for it damn but here this genre is pretty cool of course once again a prototype then i would give you the ideas now you can set up the, these systems and what you need to know in advance and how you can well do that stuff and of course here metroidvania is basically the leveling system exploration and then new abilities which unlock new areas this is the key component of this beautiful genre and then the last one would be a stealth game so something from a top down or side scroll of course you can decide on that and then well your the idea is to go from place a to b and you try to avoid traps um, let's say some uh, cameras which can detect you or some enemies and then you need to kind of dodge and this would this would be this idea of course that nobody has done so that could be actually interesting to implement so these are the few things and hopefully you uh now know what to do i will make a second poll in a few minutes and then well you can decide and then i guess i i will have to make the course and it will be ready if i'm very fast in one week because that's quite a lot of work not sure first i want to um well release the office org this week if i'm very fast or next week if i'm not too fast on itch and then um, i will make a video how you can do this and then i will release it again on steam and then well then I will show you how you can do that on Steam because that is a little bit more complex than 
there will be a little bit more uh, information videos concerning this because well, you have to uh, use Steam Workshop. That is a little bit more complex beast, but well, I will guide you through the steps. So that was pretty much it for today. And tomorrow I will do a little surprise game and then and then the following day something about Game Maker Studio again. So that was it for today. Have a good one. Wanna be in